Oh, hi there, friends. I'm Zoe. And they're still working on the road outside the clubhouse. Can you hear all the trucks? This morning, some giant dump trucks hauled in these huge loads of rocks. When they dumped the rocks, it sounded like a mountain crashing down. It was so amazing, I wanted to try it out myself. So I collected a bunch of rocks from my driveway. See? Now we need our dump truck. First, we're gonna fill up the dump truck like this. Check this out, the dump truck is full. Now our dump truck has to travel all the way over here. Make your best truck sounds with me. Ready? Here we are. So on the count of three, I want everyone to say, dump those rocks. Ready? One, two, three. Dump those rocks. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Moving some rocks, are you? I sure am, Ollie. I'm having so much fun making rock piles with my dump truck. Moving stones is fun. It's true. But that's not the only thing rocks can do. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hey friends. I'm Justin, the mailman, and oh, it's hot outside. Hold on one second. Ah, I was so thirsty, which is actually a part of our story today. Are you ready for it? Well, let me just put the story mail in the mailbox and, uh, ah! There we go. Today's true story from the Bible begins with God's people, the Israelites, who were led by a man named Moses. Everyone say, hi, Moses. Hi, Moses and they all lived in the desert where it can get really hot and there was lots and lots of sand. But do you know what there wasn't a lot of? Water. There wasn't much water and the people started getting thirsty. Now, when you and I get thirsty, there are usually places where we could get water, but the Israelites did not have any water anywhere. They started whining and complaining because they were thirsty and didn't have any water. Moses knew the people needed water, but it was wrong to whine and complain. So he talked to God about it. Moses told God that the people felt like God wasn't helping them. But we know that God is always with us and has the power to help. Do you think God helped the thirsty people in the desert? Yes! God told Moses to go to a big rock and hit it with his staff. Whoa, look, it's water. God made water come out of a rock. He is so powerful. Only God could do that. The people drank the water and knew that God was there and had the power to help them. So the next time you need something, remember to talk to God about it because he has the power to help you. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. God brought water from a rock, and he can give us what we need, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. 
Ho! Ho! Wow, God is so powerful. He made water come out of a rock. Because God is so powerful, he can give us everything we need too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I can't make water come out of a rock, but I can keep moving them. Here we go. I'll see you next time. Bye. right here on campus. We look forward to meeting with you soon. Till then, see you next week.